I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn from the UF Weather Center and our forecast for today is still in that wet pattern as waves of rain move along that frontal boundary stalled across the northern part of the state. Drier for the weekend those who get back into the normal sea breeze afternoon activity instead of the all day rain. And then we're watching the tropics for a wave developing off the coast of Africa. Here is that stationary boundary just lying right along I-10 and we're continuing to see waves of moisture that's moving along it through this afternoon. But as we get into the evening and overnight hours, the rain starts to shut down the closer we get to midnight. And then we're looking at mainly just a pretty quiet night. Now into Friday, we still have moisture in the forecast. That's because that troughs to the north of us. And then we have a ridge of high pressure building to the south of us. And that leaves us sort of stuck in the middle with a very strong west southwesterly moist flow. And that's why we'll still see maybe a little bit increased chance of some showers and thunderstorms on Friday. Here's that frontal boundary as it's lying across the state. But notice how much moisture we have that's coming on shore to go around the nature coast and back up to around Gainesville and then stretching up to the Georgia line where that area low pressure is. We do have a little bit of a vorticity, a little upper level energy moving across Thursday evening and that's what's going to enhance some of the rainfall in the Suwannee River Valley. Now by Friday still got some moisture in place but notice that dry air down to the south of us with that area of high pressure and we'll start to see some of that drier air working its way back in at least towards the end of the weekend as we return more to a typical pattern. Here's your hour by hour temperature is then falling into the middle 70s by midnight. It is going to be muggy as that rainfall decreases and your extended forecast. Then we're looking at high temperature on Friday at 90, but it'll feel like 101 with that muggy air in place. And then we have some drier weather then for next week on Wednesday.